Say hello to the boxy from D-Link. A really kooky bit of industrial design. Look at it. On the tilt, a cube um, with an, a logo that's not there before you switch it on. It actually glows through the glass. It's, it's a beautiful looking machine and a really interesting concept um, because it offers to draw together all the disparate music, video uh, and image based services that we're all used to on the internet into one box that plays on your TV. When they talk about 2011 being uh, the year when the internet came to your TV, they're talking about the kind of experience offered by the Boxy. Okay, so how does it work? How do you interface with it? Let me show you some stuff. First of all, it promises to enable you to surf the web. Now that's often, often a very dissatisfying experience if you're sat on the sofa for a TV, but actually because of this natty remote, which by the way is Bluetooth, it's brilliant, so you'd have to point the blooming thing at it. it. On the back of it, it's got a little quota keyboard, so I'm just going to put in uh, Expansis. It's the first time I've done this, so it'll be a real test of the keyboard's Finesse, yes, yeah, that works, enter. All right, let's see what it comes up with. Uh, this should hopefully open a web search because I'm connected via Wi-Fi to the network here for expanses. Okay, virtually straight away it comes up. It's got some uh, video content from the expanses site, which some of which I've probably done, which uh, uh, amounts to reviews of various handsets and so on and so forth. There we go, just moving through the content. Isn't that great? It's a great clear, um, Interface, really straightforward, no buffering, brilliant. Let's try this video, I don't know what it is. It's coming via YouTube and it's ad supported. That's one of the ways that uh, the box is able to offer you free content. Sometimes you get ads with the content. Real time, we're not on a particularly fast connection here. That's pretty, pretty impressive. Okay, it's cool. It's a very straightforward and logical interface. Uh, what I wanna show you, are some of the apps. So it's an apps environment that enables you to get uh, access to some of the, uh, the more straightforward content. Uh, we could go to YouTube, but you've seen that. We've got TED up here. I love the TED content. Lots of really cool educational stuff from major uh, international academics. Um, let's see what this guy's got to say. Again, I'm just clicking through content. I could search the content if I wanted. I could get recommendations. Um, it's just a really, really beautifully put together um, and straightforward way of mopping up so much of the great digital media content that is now available for us and that we're used to seeing on our laptops and mobile phones, but not on our telly. I also mentioned that there was uh, some pay-per-view content, um, which is accessed through a kind of uh, boxy homepage. If we just go back to home here, click on movies. And uh, all kinds of movies, a lot of stuff from, from kind of festivals and, and, and the like that you might expect, but also Station Soldiers in a proper, proper movies. Uh, you get to view a trailer. Here's The Fallen. Um, and you can watch the full movie, you can pay for it. So, you know, this is offer offering an experience somewhere in between, say, Apple TV, uh, YouTube on your laptop, and all the other video content that you get from, you know, disparate sites, uh, including music and picture services, and bringing it all into one funky tilted box.